Wow. All right, so it's time to do your chores and styles, and Ken Wingard has a DIY fashionable and functional aprons that he wants to share with us that today. I feel, I feel like I need to you. be like um, being a Keebler elf or something. Or a, a cobbler. A cobbler, yeah. exactly. Can we take a look at which, I mean, you look so I dashing. Look at well, that. these, you sort of, if anyone's, like, you go to the trendy coffee shop, you go to, like, the trendy haircutting place, and everyone's wearing these sort of updated aprons. They're becoming quite chic. Cool. Um, and actually, I saw, like, JJ was wearing one once. Um, Shanti in the kitchen was wearing cool ones. So I was like, oh, I want one. Well. 120 bucks. Oh, oh, so wow. let's take a, I uh, say not. a video here of one of the ones I was looking at that I just like absolutely love. Um, there it is. And those are oh. sort of all the trend. And with right. all the work I do, it's like having an apron is great, but you don't want it to be a kitchen apron. You want it something for gardening and for crafting. And so I decided, let's try it. It walks right up to the line of tool belt. Almost. Steps yeah. back. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Think, it's Jesse? good for men. It's, it's good for women. Good for it. little kids. I'm yeah. gonna make a bunch for my little kids for like yeah. their play kitchen. So. You um, make for Jess right now. Yeah. Sure. Oh, okay. I love that. So to do it, basically, you're gonna make a very basic start, which is the apron itself. I started one earlier, and then once you do that, you can sort of trick it out. So basically, first you're gonna want to make your pattern. And I just got a piece of brown paper. Um, I measured 31 inches up one side and 21 inches up another, and then five inches across the top, and then you just scoop it around. But really measure it to fit your own body. You want it above the knees or at the knee and you know down from the shoulder. Then use a, a rotary cutter or scissors just to cut that out. Now with the denim, I love that salvage edge, the raw edge, and you don't have to hem it, so it saves you one side. So I kept that, I folded it in half, and then I just pinned my new pattern. Once you have this pattern, like I cranked out six like between last night and today, super easy. Use that rotary cutter or your scissors and you've got your basic shape. Now all you're gonna do, run it through your sewing machine to get a hem on it. Um, and this is something, because this is gonna get somewhere, you don't wanna glue, you wanna sew this. So do this right. Um, run that around, boom, there's your apron. Now, I wanted to add pockets. Um, you can make these any size or shape you want. Basically, cut a rectangle, it's gonna go across. Then to add a little angled pocket, all I did was fold it in half and then just cut off a corner. You don't have to measure or anything. That's gonna give you your basic shape. Then go through and hem the top, only the top edge. So with this, is the two angles and that flat part, because um, that is not going to be attached. Once you do that, lay that back on your apron, and then you're gonna run it through again. You're gonna fold under the edge. Um, if you wanted it raw, you could, but I wanted it to look finished, so I folded that under, and then just run it through your sewing machine again and top stitch that all around. So that's gonna get you your big pocket, and then you get to kind of have fun and customize it. So I ran a couple of stitches up the center um, so you had some big pockets, some small pockets. Here I am measuring it. I wanted one that would fit sort of a tall, skinny item like paintbrushes, spoons. One that's gonna be a little bit bigger for my cell phone, um, et cetera. And so basically, that's what you get here. You got your basic apron. Now, oh, hang on, mister. What is this thing? You know, that is a rotary cutter, and we have one in the garage, and it's a little dull, so I never use it. But then Orly used one like a week or two ago, and she's like, tip to the audience, buy a rotary cutter. So I went out, I listened to Orly, I bought a rotary cutter. Oh my gosh. I use that it looks, for that everything now. Phenomenal. It's like zoom, 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 zoom. You don't have to cut. cut or... I know, exactly. Yeah, that's it's what like, I was it's thinking. Amazing. That'd be good cutting. You First know, Christmas all. paper, right? Because you don't have to knit. But then you would dull it. See, men. 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 <laughs> cutting paper with the scissors. All right, so I'm going to show you two techniques, and that's going to give you the rest of the variation. One is putting on grommets. I'm going to do this quickly. I love grommets. Because we've done it before on the show. As well. Um, you want to mark where you want it and cut a little hole. Just <clears throat> trace the inside of your grommet. Cut it out with a pair of scissors. Do you cut it with this? No. No, that you just use. Okay. Scissors right. or utility. You're going to have okay. the mail in. What you're going to do is pop that through. Does it matter which side goes where? Yes, because you, you want the, the one with the, the length on top. Okay. And then you're going to get one like this, which has the little teeth here. Uh -huh. And then you're just going to get that, and you're going to pop that in the other side. And then it, you get the kit, and it's going to come with this. What and is what, that? That is a little base, and you can oh. rest it on there, and then it comes with this. And you put that on oh. top. Oh, wow. You want to put some hammer? Oh. Yes. Put some china on and you want to do this on your china or on your glass top table. Come on. <laughs> is that good? Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Okay, is that good? Wow. A little harder. Oh, okay. sorry. Yeah. Gee, okay. Nice. And there you go. And there you go. Miss and hit your finger. <laughs> I would have. I would have yeah. taken a I oh. trust her completely. And <laughs> then once you get the grommet, then you can put through webbing. And you can do all wow. sorts of there. 
for the top here, as you can see. I like the hooks. Chi I did the, I um, the hooks. hooks. But the grommets can work in any places. Now let's talk about the leather pieces that I put on here. This is just an old belt. Uh -huh. And what you're going to do here is a leather punch. You get this at your fabric yeah. store, and you're just going to put that where you want your um, rivet. Rivet. Go right through rivet. it. It punches right, right through. All through. Of that. Oh, wow. And wow. then it all comes in a little kit, and you're just going to get oh, this right. little piece, little stem. It's very uh -huh. pretty much the same kind of like idea. Comes idea. Through. Put that through. You get a top. And it has no little pokey on the backside to jab you or anything, and right? Then it pulls through and it. Christina, you want to have out this one? And this oh, one you just tap lightly. Put your finger. Tap lightly. Right square on it. Man, that ain't gonna work. Well. Yes. She got, she got, a she got a little sideways. So there you go. We have some fabulously yes. good looking talented right. models I, from I just want to say, Debbie and Lawrence always have like, oh, the skinny, beautiful producers. I have the prop department. There they are. Real people yeah. doing real modeling. Yeah. That's yeah. the way Robin it should be. Corey. Gentlemen. Exactly. You so, do us good. So let's talk about Dave's here for a second. So Dave's, I went with the canvas. Again, I just use the rivets here, and all this is is an old belt. An old belt, Love cut it. it off. Off, rivet the two sides, get leather or vinyl instead of the denim to make the pocket. And what I, I cut, cut off coffee. the corner there. Yeah. He's got his coffee, his lightsaber. I just use the corners oh, on here for a little added detail. He's got his life. Super easy. 